Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're hopefully going to finish the, the rest of the beginning parts of uh, the uh, DLC uh, Step 4, yeah, Step 4 DLC for uh, Derek. And then uh, after that there'll be the uh, other moments which we'll be doing later on as we go along course so but before we get started I want to thank all 201 subscribers yeah I have 201 subscribers now thank you so much for subscribing to my channel I really appreciate it uh, if yeah uh, yeah I uh, I appreciate your support um, especially those of you who stuck uh, with my channel all this time as subscribers uh, really appreciate that too your support is very generous I like having you guys here on my channel supporting my channel that's really I yeah I really appreciate it <clears throat> so forgive me uh, if I'm having a little bit of trouble today is because well my allergies are acting up and uh, as always, of course, I got my asthma problems, but you know, I'm, I'm going to deal with it as best as I can through this through this uh, session, so bear with me, okay? <coughs> and we'll get started. Um, but also, uh, I would like to uh, encourage you all to please go to my Patreon uh, and become a Patreon contributing member. Uh, as I said uh, recently, I changed some of the pricing on two of the tiers. There's the More Nuts tier. I dropped that down from, uh, I dropped it from, I think it was like $9 to uh, $5. Yeah, I dropped that down to $5. And uh, there was a the twenty five dollar tier, which was the extra nuts tier, and I dropped that one down to from twenty five to ten dollars. So hopefully that'll help encourage some of you to become Patreon contributing members. Those two tiers, by the way, are for adult content. For those of you who want adult content, yes, that's what that's for. And. Uh, also, when you become a uh, Patreon community member on any of my tiers, I will automatically uh, acknowledge your name at the end of every video. Uh, and uh, hopefully, I'm going to work towards getting uh, all my videos from my uh, memory stick to those uh, the two adult tiers, the, the War Nuts and the Extra Nuts tier. So that you guys will have them on there automatically. You watch them on there automatically. You won't have to uh, ask for me to send them to you via email or whatever. So, yeah. <clears throat> and that's for the uncensored, of course. Uncensored adult content. So, let's get started. Oh, as it, um, also as you know, there is a three dollar tier. That is a budget tier. That's for um, those who want to but want to be on a low budget. They don't want to, you know, pay any more than that per month. Uh, it is these are monthly fee fees, by the way. So once you become a member, it's a monthly charge, just to let you know. And all the funds that go in there, membership funds that go in there, go directly to. Worthy charity, uh, worthy charities that, that I choose from. Uh, I don't see a penny of it. It just goes to those charities. Yeah, so I don't get any of it. It just goes directly to those charities. <coughs> anyway, so let's get started. Still recording, yeah. Looks like it. All right. <coughs> oh, 
Say that it's yours, that didn't mean you had to eat the whole thing like that. Okay. Thanks to the team effort, none of the eclair went to waste. No soggy clouds remained uh, over any, anyone's head. <coughs> Might as well offer my blue layer of awesome. Why not? I'll share my. I'll show my muffin. Now, who wants some of my blueberry muffin? It's still in one piece, which is a plus. Yeah. Okay, Nicholas. Yes, your first stop. I'll give you a piece. The trip home came with good moods all around. That's a good thing. And soon you'd reach your destination, Nicholas and George. Jump out of the car right away. Derek took a second to gather up uh, the gift he'd gotten for his father. You made sure you got your own stuff too before falling at after the boys. Nicholas uh, let let you write um, Nicholas let you write in with his house key as he swung the door open he announced the group's arrival with a grand cheer we're back <clears throat> welcome home his mother and father uh, returned the call with a familiar greeting of their own. They'd been t uh, taking it easy on the couch with the TV, but it was promptly shut off with a click of the remote. <clears throat> their children were uh, entertainment enough. You, Derek, and George stood around in front of the living rooms. Sarah's child member three skipped ahead, going all the way around the back of the couch. <clears throat> Nicholas draped himself over his dad's shoulders and snuggled up to him from behind. Aw, nice. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, 
Mr. Sarah's re reached up to clasp Nichols' arms warmly. Wonderful. Thank you. Very wonderful, son. The well wishes were echoed by the older two brothers in unison. Happy Father's Day, Dad. <clears throat> Thank you as well. Happy Father's Day, Mr. Suarez. It felt totally natural to join in the merrymaking yourself. The content smile on Mr. Suarez's face confirmed that. And might as well uh, let him in on it, of the whole family on it, because eventually we're going to be married to uh, Derek. <clears throat> Thank you very much. The man of the hour struggled to get off the cushion with a heavy cape still hanging over him. But lifting uh, Nicholas uh, along with him, Mr. Sura, uh, Mr. Suarez managed to get to his feet <clears throat> in order to keep clinging to his parent Nicholas had to stretch his chest over the seats of the couch and lean over on his tip tiptoes that was all and good with Mr. Suarez he opened his arms wide to invite even more hangers on to join in. <clears throat> the incredibly inconvenient positioning was no hold up for his children. Derek, George, and uh, okay, yeah, Derek and George uh, shuffled in between the coffee table and their dad, carefully arranging themselves around each other and Nico. The group came together like pieces of a puzzle, only being able to attach in specific, perfectly aligned slots. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to. I'm gonna wait for everybody else to get their hugs in, and then I'm gonna get my hug in. Why not? You wanted to hug him. Uh, yeah, you waited to hug him after his family was done. <clears throat> Mr. Suarez, uh, we we wish being embraced from all sides. You could hear a muffled, rumbling laugh come from the mass of. Suarez men. Ms. Suarez had a front row seat <coughs> to the love fest. She couldn't possibly move from her spot on the couch with her two largest sons blocking the way. Their mom sat tight and even managed to squeeze in one hand to rub her husband's lower back. All the love in the world being poured over Mr. Suarez had him flushed with pride. <coughs> His 
spoke to his lovely family with as much uh, affection for them as they had for him. What a day! And I'm so grateful to have you all here. Uh, sounds like he has the same, uh, same voice as Derek. Wonder if the same actor does the voiceover for Mr. Saras as well as Derek? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll find that out later. It's no problem. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, glad to be here. Nico uh, chirped. A self aware mimic of his big brother. <clears throat> what they said. Uh, what they said times two. That comment was a tree uh, on a silly Sunday. <clears throat> the brother snickered along with him. The bonding moment came to a sudden abrupt end as Nic Nicholas's grip finally slipped from his dad's neck. He collapsed like a broken bridge and swung face forward uh, into the back rest of the couch with a puff gasp. His long hair uh, spilled over everywhere. Oops. Are you fine, Nicholas? Yeah, are you okay, Nicholas? Hope you didn't hurt yourself. Mr. Asura uh, craned his head over his shoulder to peer down at where his youngest child landed. <clears throat> Still flat against a pillow, Nicholas stuck a thumb into there. Okay, he's alright. That drew out uh, Snickers from the whole crowd, but it was mutually agreed that giving each other some space was for the best. <clears throat> the Sarah's man uh, uh, shined one after another past the furniture into the dining area. The last one uh, to pack was Nicholas, who finally pulled himself upright. Seeing your chance, you snuck a quick squeeze around Mr. Sarah's side. He clapped your arms and returned the gesture of affection. You let him go after that, feeling content. You doing okay? How's your day been? Derek clapped a hand on his father's shoulder. What were you up to while we were out? <clears throat> With great excitement, Mr. Suarez answered the question. I took a nap. That's cool, Dan. It is. I hope the four of you had a pleasant afternoon as well. It was eventful. That's how you could describe it. You felt eyes on you. Nicholas had uh, a 
the spiral of glance set on your way. He was what made it particularly memorable, and he knew it. Mm hmm. We had fun. <clears throat> we made the most of it. George and Derek both nodded, not needing to add more than, than that. That's what I like to hear. Good to hear it. More current experiences were shared, funny anecdotes were told, stories seen lately were recounted. <clears throat> It was lo locally celebration. Yeah, oh, lo yeah, okay, it was a low key celebration. All that was needed to make the day was spending time all together. With a clear clasp of her hand, Miss Suarez called the group to attention. Her eyes were squinted up from her smile raised cheeks so before it gets any later how about we give dad his gifts Mr. Soros had been patient he, went up, he waited for someone else to bring up the topic now that his wife had the dim holding back swirling excitement rushed open Yes. I like my gifts now. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you'll get them. Kind of be patient. Yeah. We just got here anyway. Let's do it. I'll be right back. I had my uh, gift in. I had my gift in the Nico's room. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. We can wait. But not long. Uh, I hope that was just joking. I mean, be patient, okay? Be patient. You'll get your gifts. That was tacked on the, to Derek's statement. Good. Honorably. Hum humbly through not entirely as a joke. Don't worry. I got it, I got it. George uh, uh, flippantly gestured a hand over his shoulder, uh, dismissing his dad's impatience. I know, I have some patience. Really? But the speed he walked at his brisker than a normal indoor pace. Derek's hand automatically came to rest over his pocket. He patted uh, the box safely tucked inside. <coughs> the sight spurred you into double checking your own stuff all as well and ready to go. George had to stick the gift inside someone, someone else's bedroom became all too obvious. <coughs> Excuse me. When he re-entered the hall.
Sorry about that. Uh, okay, a beautiful flowers was spilling over the arms uh, cradled around it, all wrapped up in a pretty bowl. Oh. It was fitting, uh, a fitting choice as a thrilled smile bloomed on the recipient's face. Ooh, excuse me. The middle son clutched the bouquet closer to his chest. A few petals brushed against his cheek. Sorry. I couldn't get into a, a bag. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get this into a bag. So here it is. Everyone knows what I got. And it's beautiful. Thank you, Junior. No worries. Right. It's cool. You deserve to go first for a change. I can live live being second. <clears throat> if George had been worried about uh, stepping on anyone's toes, those fears would have been completely uh Ashore. Uh, as assured, I, assured. I don't. I'm not sure what that word is. Sorry, but uh, that wasn't his concern. As Derek chuckled, George shook his head. <clears throat> For a change, Derek. You let me go before you more more than often than you go first. Derek had another answer ready without missing a beat, and and he laughed even more. Then we're keeping up the tradition, and this is for you, Dad. Derek. Brought up uh, out a sleek package and <clears throat> held it out for the taking. Mr. Sarah's plucked up, plucked it up gladly. He tucked the bouquet under one elbow while pulling off the top of his new present a tie. I will use this often. Thank you, Derek. You're welcome. You're welcome, Dad. Mrs. Suarez rubbed uh, Derek's back, watching her husband admire the accessory. That will uh, that will look great on the new shirt I got him. She winked. Knowingly and ha handed off the questions that statement might bring. <clears throat> I let him open that one earlier, so he didn't have to wait all day before our presence happened. No wonder he'd been so well behaved. He'd been pre muffled Mr. Suarez whistled uh, in Mr. Lee's snuffle around the tie in the box. Thank you. He was fully basking in nervously. Meanwhile, his 
supportive partner took the initiative to bring a, a, a vase for George's flowers. They looked even better, fully spread out in the, the glass. Okay, I'll take my turn now. Okay, well, what about Nicholas? Hooray. Chuckling at his ch childlike joy. <clears throat> you didn't keep him in suspense and lifted up the gift bag from earlier. He eagerly accepted it from your hand. The bag was scanned and then pulled open. You had gotten a pricier option for a father's for a Father's Day gift. It might have been too much, but you didn't have to worry much thanks to the pleased smile that remained on Mr. Sura's face. Very nice. I look forward to trying this. And there was one other person in the room who responded with encouragement. <clears throat> Derek snuck uh, you a thumbs up with no one when no one was looking at him. You're welcome. As usual, the last person to take uh, the stage was Nicholas with a wide sweeping of his arms. My gift is my wonderful presence. Okay. Uh, it's a thought. A thought that counts. Of course. And it is wonderful indeed. It was no joke. Mr. Suarez looked upon Nico warmly. The temptation to baby the baby of the family was too strong. From the sidelines, the three other members of the family in, in gay exchanged shrugs and wavery smiles. After the highest point of excitement, the gift giving uh, casual get together wound down even more. <clears throat> You, the trio of Sura's brothers, and their father were all settled around the dinner table, shooting the breeze. Ms. Sura's had uh, reclaimed her comfortable spot on the couch. There was a book in her hands. Her psychic gift of the day was laying Mr. Sura's uh, all the attention of the children. <clears throat> he spoke intermittently uh, uh, about his life and his work. That line of topic in the particular got him going. It was explained to that himself and Mr. Holden had been invited to a business owner networking luncheon happening the next day. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, what the heck? I was here a moment ago. Wow. 
Sorry about that. I was just looking for my uh, inhaler. Found it. Well then. You see, Mr. Holland uh, was uh, disliked for such events. In our years as partners, it has gone without saying that I am the one who attends. Although, Mr. Suarez gave a toothy grin. He was up to something. <coughs> Excuse me. There was another option this time. I could have my responsible son attend as my representative. Uh. Uh huh. Yeah, Derek's. Um. Uh, look, is like what? Me? Really? Well, maybe we'll have to go with him. I don't know. Just to keep him company. He could only stare uh, in wide-eyed amazement. It suddenly felt like it was Derek's birthday rather than Father's Day. You could still remember when Derek helping his dad with his business as an equal was just a far off imagination. A fanciful thought for some day and now you were present when it became a reality. It had sent Derek off into clouds temporarily but it wasn't a dream or a joke. It was an actual situation he was present in. Derek gathered his thoughts and gave it a grounded response. Sorry, I can't. I've got plans tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. My main character and him have a date, from what I remember. We have this date set to go out together. That's understandable. Derek Soros is in demand by all who know him. Oh, <laughs> Not by everyone. Derek uh, snickered shyly. It seemed the exchange was already reaching its conclusion. <clears throat> you knew what that surprising plan of Derek was going to the water park with you. Yep. That's our date. to hang out with you it made you happy you weren't sure what to think about the situation you got Derek's attention to talk. Uh, no I'm looking forward to it you were you were so looking forward to it <clears throat> it was a big event and okay it was a big event you and Derek had made you never doubted that it would happen. He wasn't the type of guy to drop the ball when something else came along. With com complete confidence, Derek jumped back into the conversation. He had uh, momentarily left behind for you. So... As I was saying, thanks for understanding. I'll make it up to you next time. That is all right. It is all well. You're already so, so successful and talented. I need to work hard to keep up. 
After years of hard work, Derek had, had earned so much praise from his dad, yet he didn't accept it with beaming pride or even downplay it with lightened humbleness. He simply rejected it. <sighs> Hardly. Someone had changed. Uh, he wasn't a small teenager who could only guess what it meant to be an adult and believe, uh, believed what he was told. <clears throat> Derek had grown. He had lived uh, experiences that World, world words could be compared to what he felt he'd done did not m match with what his father was uh, describing but you had to wonder why there wasn't anyone you thought was more deserving of the terms talented and successful no good reason came to mind. Despite Derek never looking more mature, Mr. Sarah smiled con confrontantly like he did when his son was still young. It wasn't a gesture lost on Derek. He once again showed that he was not a child. It was Father's Day, not the moment to worry his dad. He uh, winked, sm snirk, uh, smirked, and managed to smooth over the mere bump. <coughs> You're still way ahead of me. And that was the end of that. Later the evening, you hardly homemade, a, a hearty homemade dinner was served as the final event of the occasion. But eventually George stood up from his chair. He explained he needed to start heading back to his dorm. It only made sense for you and Derek to take your own leave, too. The permanent occupants of the house, Nicholas, Mr. Suarez, and Ms. Suarez, thanked everyone for coming. <clears throat> one, one last set of Father's Day well wishes were given, farewells were exchanged, <clears throat> and <clears throat> then it was time to go your separate ways. As usual, Derek grabbed the door first and held it open for George and you. You thanked him while you went through. His parents and youngest brother stood by in the living room the entire time. Derek called out over his shoulder with the last note of the day's gathering. Talk to you later. Hell, have a hell of a day, every everybody. Thanks for letting us be here. Then he followed you and shut the door behind him. As soon as you both climbed into the comfortable seats of Derek's car, he was ready for a new adventure. <laughs> what's the plan now? We've got what's left of the day to ourselves. I'm not sure. You intended to really consider the question, but not a single thought had a chance to 
fully formed before Derek sent discontinued mental threads flying without a shout. shout. Oh! Oh, shoot. What's wrong? His head knocked against the back of the seat, and he slid lower in defeat. This sucks. I didn't get the console from Nico. That's what me could have done. Obviously, we'd already set up, set every, everything, every, everything up, almost everything. Derek offered an apologetic grinning. That's fine. A lot was going on. We tired. A for an effort, huh? Yep. I'll take it. He scraped uh, himself up off the chair, choosing to lean over the steering wheel instead. All right. Another day then. It'll be way too awkward to go back up there and beg Nicholas for his switch. That's something we've got to play smooth. But without it, there's not much to do at the apartment. <clears throat> Words drifted off. His mind was working. And without another interruption, yours as well. The loudest sound in the cabin of the car was Derek drumming his fingers against the steering wheel. What? Do you want to do? That was the question. You had a, a starting point. It was worth considering not just to do in general, but what you could do while you were there in the in that location. That location, of course, you couldn't be far from. The big park your mom's sometimes took you to. The same place Derek frequent with his brothers. We could stop by the big park or the normal park to you. <laughs> Leave it to me. Totally. That'd be perfect. And I know exactly how to get there. Buckle in. He didn't have to t tell you twice. You snapped the seatbelt in into place for the for a ride. <clears throat> Anticipation uh, stared. Uh, in the air and the car sw uh, switched to life then Derek pulled out uh, into the street the park was even closer than you'd guess because mere minutes after you would come up uh, with the plan it had been executed and luckily there were spots in the lot parking at the park was no trouble. <clears throat> Derek did a hop, skip, and jump out the door around the back and bent inside the popped open trunk. He rummaged around for a minute before slamming it shut. He joined him outside and spotted uh, immediately what the mini pit stop was for. He locked it, his car with a clitter uh, in one hand, but tucked under the other arm was a well-worn soccer ball. Everything was ready. You 
and Derek leisurely wandered down the path towards the, the heart of the park. When you officially arrived at your destination, the sun was barely peeking over the horizon. It wasn't dark quite yet, but shadows were threatening to fully embrace the scene any minute. this go full screen oh. yeah I forgot to put it full screen yeah, there we go <clears throat> scattered clumps of strangers enjoyed the summer evening all around the perfectly trimmed field of grass <clears throat> Parents with their children in groups of teens, uh, elderly pa pa uh, pairs, people of all stages of life were there to share in, in a, a similar yet entirely unique experiences. Derek stood by your side. You could hear him. Uh, inhale deeply through his nose. He took uh, in the sight uh, contentedly. He glanced away from the wide expanse in front of you to face Derek. He smiled the mo moment your eyes met. The ball was shifting from this already mm. yeah I'll do it again you glanced away from uh, from the white expanse uh, in front of you to face Derek he smiled in the moment uh, your eyes met the ball was shifting from one hand to the other want to kick this around I like that awesome cool Two of you uh, climbed uh, far, the far corner of the grass for your own purpose. No one was likely to interrupt you or be hit by a misfared ball there. <clears throat> Derek let, let the soccer ball fall to the ground with a slight bounce he warmed up and by juggling it side to si side between his legs popping it up on the top of one foot and letting it drop off again working the ball over the way it uh, way was second nature to him Derek might not have even intently decided to do it. It was purely habit.
<laughs> but when he rolled uh, your the ball your way with the tap of his toes, you put more distance between him and you before kicking the ball across the field to return it to the sender. He caught it effortlessly under his heel. The game was on. Back and forth, back and forth. An easy rhythm developed between you and him. There wasn't everyone in the world you could sync with better than Derek. Thanks for not counseling your plans with the water park. Don't worry about that. Uh, I wouldn't miss it for anything. And you didn't doubt it that for a second. The day grew later and the park slowly emptied of other people. In quite a twilight, the smacking sounds of soccer ball against feet echoed loudly. <clears throat> One catch of Derek's was especially impressive. He stopped the ball without looking, his fun green eyes squarely on your face. But the longer you played, the more tight in his features dimmed. It had been a grateful decline now that you noticed it. However, it was impossible to ignore now. He weakly passed the, the ball over to you. It was going to stop short. You had to jog closer to him to even get it. His complete loss of energy was concerning enough that you paused the exchange for a moment. <clears throat> he only watched Derek stand there, shoulders slumped, and expression uh, defeated you felt grateful for the excuse to be nearer to him even given by the slow kick because he spoke distantly to himself it would have been impossible to hear from the full length that used to be between you and you still had to strain your ears to not miss his words. I can't believe how long it's been. I'm here with you in my old park. Mm. So much like it was before, but it's not the same. Why can't I feel the way I used to about it? Huh? Things change get older and things change. <clears throat> he mentioned a, a familiar a similar statement a, a sentiment at the mall and when you visited Sunset Bird too. Derek pushed it off each time before that thought had con continued to eat away at him despite how he'd avoided co confronting it. Hmm. Uh, what happened? I know something bothered you. Why did you come back to the city? Why didn't you believe it? 
your dad when he said you were successful. You knew you can talk to me. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. You know you could talk to me about anything, right? You pointly sent uh, the soccer ball over again, putting the ball initially and carefully in uh, Derek's court. <coughs> methodically in, in Derek's court. He pressed the ball under his heel and uh, stared at you just as hard. Distant lamps uh, flickered on around the park. The darkness in Derek's features was Contra uh, con contrast even more strongly when lit up. <clears throat> From behind, it was much later than you realized it was. It's. You know my life story, most of it at least. I wanted to be good at sports, and I tried. In high school and college, I put my all into it. After that, there's not a lot of ways you can go further with it. You can coach or teach or aim to go pro. I had that chance. I could have tried out, tried out to make playing an actual career. Really? That was incredible. It let you entirely stun in all the calls you'd had. And during the entire time you been here with him, he'd never hinted at anything like that. That's right. He owned up to the admission with deeply furrowed brows and self-directed sneer. <laughs> Maybe I would have made it in the minor leagues. Maybe even the majors. Maybe I would have faced I would have faced plant I, I would have face planted. But I didn't get far enough to find out because I quit. Really? Okay. He twisted away from the painted shop. Derek stuck the sucker ball off towards nowhere with all his strength. It shot into the distance, vanishing completely in the, in the inky skyline before you even saw it start to slow. Derek stared at where the old ball from his much younger days had gone, even though it was truly and thoroughly gone. Oh, thoroughly gone? Yeah, thoroughly gone. I gave up and, le and left. And that's it. Hmm. A 
I'm sure he had his reasons. So I'm just gonna say, that's all right, Derek. There was no quick quirk of his brows or tremble of his lips as if you hadn't spoken. Derek's solemn mask was perfect, uh, perfectly set. His empty hands squeezed into an iron bile fist, solid and all too heavy to hold up. <clears throat> I did love smokes. I think I did. Sometimes I'm not sure I can remember. I just... What I do know is that I had something to prove. If I never stopped, it felt like I'd be giving up. I'd be a quitter and a failure who couldn't cut it. And I could never arrive either. There was always uh, another goal in the distance that I still hadn't reached. So I had to keep going. Derek's eyes hazily, were hazy. <clears throat> His chest rose and fell at the unsteady pace. He still hadn't stopped looking out the at the dark expecting and getting nothing from it downgrading my plane to nothing more than a hobby would have been the same as not playing at all wasted effort wasted potential what a shame that's what people would would think that's what I thought it's what I thought I know it's true all I did was develop those skills if I didn't use them then what was the point of trying so hard For a second time, long hidden anger crackled. He had faced you in his fury, but again Derek let it settle back into sombrous, somberness for continuing to address you. But like I said, what does that mean? Where could that go? other than doing it forever. How did it take this long to realize something that obvious? I was going to have to do it forever. That would have been fine. If I had actually wanted to spend my whole life and all of my time on perfecting my passing skills but no I'm not that smart from the start it was it was a means to an end I'd be good at sports and then I'd feel wor worth something and then I could really li live my life Missing time with friends and family and crazy hours. I had been waiting for when, when that would finally stop. It never did and never would unless I stopped it. So, so mostly he quit it because he wanted, he didn't want to lose out on time with the family. I, I, I get that. I get it. <clears throat> so that's probably just part of it. Yeah. I mean, you can't really, and to be honest, you can't really play sports forever. Not really. I mean, you could probably become a coach later on or even own a team, I guess. 
I mean, if you have the money to do it. Uh, you can see the results of my hard work and great planning right in front of you. <sighs> I went home as the guy who couldn't make it. I got my li life back and I don't feel the tiniest bit better. It might be worse than I was more thickened and could tell myself I was really going doing something. Being here hasn't turned back the clock. I can't look forward to what life could be when I'm grown up. I'm just an adult who wasted so much of my life already because I had to chip because I had a chip on my shoulder. And so pissed off. His face fell into his hands. That was the story of of Derek stopped. Huh. That was where the story of Derek stopped. Hmm, he resolved to reassure him somehow. He felt terrible. He wasn't proud of what he had done. You shape uh, I guess he is over the top self pity. Uh, it was frustrating to hear him speak so badly of himself. Hmm. Uh, you resolved to reassure him somehow. If there was one person in this world who deserved to hold his head high, it was Derek Suarez. I think this will be the right one to say. Derek, you demand way too much of yourself. It's okay just to live. Carefully, Derek's face lifted. His shoulders uh, remained broad through. You could see his eyes. Regret, regret is what you saw in them. But you had his attention. You're irreplaceable to your family and to me. No one has your character. No one has your determination. No one considers others more. You're not a quitter or a failure or anything else like that. I can't let you keep behaving. Uh, can't. I can't let you keep believing being you is a waste. You should enjoy every day you have coming. I'll be here to remind you of that and to help make sure it happens. Yeah, no shit. Finally, a smile begins to settle on both of your faces once again. Uh, there's that smile. Uh, the, the gloom wasn't uh, uh, wasn't an insure in, insure momentable. <clears throat> Nothing was when you and Derek were together. You were a team and it was evident in that way he looked at you 
facing the darkness around him Derek lost uh, but fears and reservation faded when he he had you had you to lean on and and it was the same for you with him I can't say no to that that's good man how am I supposed to say no to that it has a good smile you're the best person I know oh gee thanks He stood in, uh, tall in front of you with a s smile on just one side. Not because he couldn't make it the whole t uh, this whole time. He was s smirking. Okay, I'm about to tell you something that will not be a surprise. My dad did football when he was in high school and college. Hearing stories of that is where my sports aspirations came from. Though I was a little original since I ended up going for a different spot sport, <clears throat> I'm not surprised. I figured. Hmm, I figured. Also, not a surprise was that I sucked at it, and I was scrawny, and I hated that. <clears throat> Getting better became the, the main driving force in my life. And focusing on that, putting in so much effort, it kind of made everything else easier being the oldest ha having responsibilities in my family having to be reliable it felt scary when there was an even bigger goal to hit everything else was nothing I never had to directly confront my feelings of inadequacy and accept myself for what I was because I instead could say I wouldn't be the way I was forever I'd become successful but put proving myself and being uh, talented over being happy I missed so many things I barely let myself see you. And there was no way I could have started a relationship when I knew I wouldn't have been able to prioritize, prioritize, prioritize it 
as much as I should. You deserve better. Hey, I got you. It's good enough for right now. But things were happening and you were there all those years. I could have just been happy the whole time. I think that's what really hurts. I could have been happy the whole time. I could have just been happy the whole time. Derek's words disappeared as a whisper in the dark. His eyes closed and he took a moment to silence a, a, a mor Moran, uh, Moran? Uh, the life he might have known if he would had uh, confidence to go for it sooner. Yourself. You have to prove yourself to me. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. You never had to prove yourself to me. You're fine the way you are. Uh, your voice uh, reached his eyes, fluttered upon, unafraid to face what was ahead of him. I know. I know. I know, Chippy. I wish I, I let myself believe it sooner. But I do know. That's good. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go there for the kiss. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You kissed him. After everything you felt, Derek could definitely use a gentle touch. You went, You wanted to make sure he knew you were there. He pressed his lips against yours as soon as you brought your arms around his neck.
<clears throat> yeah, his body was welcoming and so uh, solid against yours. He hoped your presence was as resuming to him as it was to you. figure out what's best for you. I don't think you have to give up soccer if you do it for the right reasons. Everything you've done and whatever you will do. Is, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Everything you've done and whatever you will do is good with me. Well, that's reassuring. I'll figure things out. But either way, it's still about the journey. Not the destination and all that. On the happiest note possible, Derek uh, released his hold on you to ruffle his hair. Thank you. Thanks, Chippy. It's cool being able to talk with you about things. I feel so much better. Oh, that's good. Happy to be of help. <clears throat> Derek's face was so helpful and gentle and wonderful. This is why we've got to deal with uh, this is why we've got that deal right <clears throat> to make sure we've both got support looks like it's working out of course Derek lightly claps his hands together and stretch hit them apart and press them against each other again. He was clapping along to a song only to be only he could hear. Derek lightly cla uh, claps his hands together and press them against it. Uh, again, he claps in it along with a song only you could hear. 
<clears throat> one thing that was certainly shared between you was a uh, warmth over your cheeks. <clears throat> then, uh, seemingly out of nowhere, Derek let out a bellowing groan. <clears throat> the massive release of air looked to physically def uh, deflate his body. Derek's uh, torso dropped lower and lower until he could have touched his toes. He was uh, expectantly flexible. Oh, man. I'm going to have to go get that ball now. He laughed instantly, uh, partly at the re uh, revelation uh, and par partly at the dramatic sulk it had been said with. <clears throat> Still bent uh, ha half up, uh, he stuck his hands against his hip and twisted his head up so you could see him wink. It was a gift. I'm going to abandon it here. Don't worry, I'll help. We can tackle life's problems together. You know it. Team Chippy and Derek forever. You got it. That wholehearted chair, Derek ran headlong through the br brush. You chased after him with leaping steps. You peeked under the uh, every picnic table, um, <clears throat> behind every trash can in the general area before the long soccer, the lone soccer ball was discovered, tucked away again. Uh, again amongst some flowers. Thankfully, none of the petals were harmed by it coming to rest by their bed. Derek lifted the ball over his head dramatically as if he was the lead in a video game who got a brand new item to equip. You applauded. <clears throat> the two of you returned to Derek's car from there, the last one still in the lot, <clears throat> and left the park behind vigorously. You sh uh, shuffled back into the silent apartment after another long day out. When Derek hit the, the light switch and illuminated the space, he began to chuckle amiably. Oh. The first sight uh, that greeted you was counters spilling over with unsorted bags of miscellaneous dry goods. They remained where you left them in the rush of that morning, apparently waiting for their turn to be put away. Even though you saw Derek put down where you, uh, with your own eyes, their existence had, existence had entire, entirely faded from your mind. <coughs> Sorry. All you've been imagining uh, when stepping through the door was a free and clear path to your room in the apartment, the cozy bed that was included. Your thoughts were spoken aloud through, though not by you. Oops. I forgot about those. He stressed the top of his head. He was starting staring at the backboard covered uh, in 
Uh, Allegra? Allegra? <laughs> Whatever that word is. Can't even pronounce it, barely. But uh, he cleared away the in initial uh, bewilderment with a firm cl uh, clap of his hands. Derek kept them clapped together while glancing at you. <clears throat> you can go get ready for bed. I'll put them away real quick. I'm going to feel uneasy trying to keep trying to sleep if I know that this is this still isn't done You're such a neat freak, but I'll help you left. It's reasonable to me. It's so wrong for those poor groceries to be left out in the cold for the whole night. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I'd call uh, reasonable. Time to put them to bed. His brows pinched with, with a twi twinge of regret that his problem was becoming yours. However, you didn't need to explain again how, how that was what you wanted. Derek swallowed the instant and insisted insist you go rest or apologize and grin instead <laughs> let's get to it thanks f let's do it team time w was called and you got to work to and a final task before rest could come there was more of a system <clears throat> for the cupboards than there was with the fridge and freezer you've fish goods out of the bags and pass them to Derek. He placed them on the shelf where they belonged. As he rearranged his serviceable spice set to make room for more goods, Derek explained his thought process. He preferred having breakfast stuff in one cupboard at the far end of uh, seasoning and baked bake goods together in another. The self closet uh, closest to the uh, stove top and everything else in the middle. When you'd gotten the layout you switched to putting items away directly instead of playing a support role with your combined efforts it only took a few minutes after the plastic bags had all been stuffed in space under the sink you high tinted uh, smirking both with your hands against Derek's for a job well done. Having a partner to tackle the smile, small things was just as nice as having <clears throat> someone you could count on for life's bigger struggles. Derek 
had matched your thoughts on forgetting the groceries and you felt that working together to put those away had brought your minds in sync again. His expression was peaceful. A weight had been lifted off his broad shoulders, both from the perfectly orderly kitchen and company he had within it. Derek waved a hand and in an arch that was wide as the smile on his face. Night. Night, Chippy. Sleep well as you passed out. Uh, you gave him a quick kiss. Yeah, let's do that. Gotta give her a boyfriend a kiss. It was a sweet and affectionate touch. The heat of his skin was still enough to keep you cozy inside and out. You needed that to get through the inevitable separation. Why can't we just be in the same bed together? I mean, we're dating. Come on. <clears throat> that le left uh, Derek frozen in place, watching you go <clears throat> so dreamy that perhaps he'd already fallen asleep while standing there. You, your quietly time, quality time with Derek was put on a temporary pause <clears throat> to prepare for bed and collapse into your, your sheets. But in a blink of the sun had risen once more. You repeated the process of getting ready through the through with the goal of being ready to face the day rather than conclude it. And you sure made a uh, dress apparently for what you'd be facing their long drives ahead. From there you went into the living room. The perfectly clean counters were a welcome sight after your efforts uh, the night before. Those last moments of the previous day had gone by so fast. <clears throat> and you fell asleep. So immediately it honestly felt like a 10 minute time out. And had been called rather than several hours passing. But Derek's warm greeting was still welcome to your ears. Morning. Morning. It's been a it's a brand new day, a fresh start, and we're already set to make the most of it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Damn. I don't know how much more is left of this moment. I mean, I thought we were going to uh, separate moments. Oh. So, I know it's been a long day. It's been a long time uh, recording, so I'm probably going to save it here and then go back to it later on. So, thanks again for watching on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button for those of you who haven't done so already. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon uh, account and become a Patreon contributing member. I'd really appreciate it. And so with the uh, community of charities that, that need the funds. Remember all the uh, membership funds that go in there, monthly membership funds that go in there go directly to charity. I don't see a pin of it, it just goes directly to charity. Uh, where the charities that I choose from. So I'd really appreciate it. I'm sure the community of charities would really appreciate it too.
put all of that. Okay. So until late, until next time, I will see you guys later.